so um, yesterday was kind of a roller coaster. We uh, came out to the pasture to do our regular feedings, and um, you guys might remember uh, last year around May, Annabelle, uh, our favorite cow, had the first calf we've ever had on our property, and um, we named her Lexi. And uh, we decided to keep her and Annabelle when we thinned out our herd. Well, at uh, some point um, the night before last, she, I guess, laid down on top of one of the uh, berms around the wetlands. And um, she, I don't know if something spooked her or she tried to get up or she shifted, but something happened and she ended up rolling down the berm onto her side and with her feet uphill. And unfortunately, she could not get herself back up. We, um, we got out to the pasture and I saw her um, laying down and it didn't look right and I immediately thought the worst and I ran over to her and she was, like I said, laying down on her side, feet uphill, her head tucked under her neck. And um, she was barely breathing and so I, I screamed for Leon to go get Davis. And I got my, I pulled her up and got her propped up on her, on her chest so she could breathe and Davis rushed over and helped me, helped me get her legs under her and we got her up on her brisket and um, her face was swollen and she was breathing so heavy and so stressed out and um, she uh, had mucus coming from her nose and stuff and but she was up she was breathing I was hoping that maybe we got to her in time and I we called the vet and we reached out to the community and the vet said we did exactly what we needed to and to while she, she could drink while she was laying down to offer her some water and we did and she drank some but um 20, 20, 30 minutes later, she... She didn't make it. I've, I've heard plenty of, I've heard stories on on the keeping of family cow for where people have had this happen and it's it's just something that happens and whenever they roll on their side or they're like that they, they can't breathe and um, um, given the uh, the signs that the, the discharge from her nose the, the vet and vet and us both think that she she aspirated she just had too much fluid in her lungs and um, it was it was we, we just got to her just <laughs> Julie. It's just one of those things that you don't expect to happen. Ugh. And you can't prepare for it. We did everything we could. We did our best with what we had. So um we we buried her in the pasture with help from a from one of the local ranchers. And um we brought a mango tree out. Uh, buried a nice mango tree, should be nice big. Mm -hmm. We plant the um, the OF15. Yeah, the OF15. OF15 mango tree. And so we, we planted it at her where we where she was where she's buried, and there'll be Lexi's mangoes. You can always think of her when we harvest them. So um. And apparently, at the same time that night, um, Annabelle calved. So, as we're trying to get Lexi propped up, I hear Leon, Mom, baby! And I look over, and Annabelle's, at Annabelle's feet, there's a new little calf. Yep. And we will introduce him on a later date. He's, they're doing good, Annabelle, um... Annabelle is a seasoned pro. She she knows what she's doing. She she already had him cleaned up, and he we. It's all nice and dry by the time we got here yep. in the morning. We uh, we set them up in a round pen, 
so that the bull and the steer wouldn't mess with the baby. Mm -hmm. And um, we made sure that he got his, his milk. We fed him with the bottle at first just to get him used to sucking. And then we tied up Annabelle. We brought him over and made sure that he figured it out. Yeah, so, so he, he got the colostrum, which is the most important thing. That first step. That first milk. That first milk, that first colostrum, that's that's the vital. vital. Mm -hmm. if, if they don't get it, they, they aren't going to make it. So he, he, he's, he nursed. Yes, it is a little bull calf, um, but he's he's nursing. He's strong. He's healthy. And um, like you said, we'll, we'll introduce him mm -hmm. in yeah, the next we still gotta We still got to make plans for what we're going to do with him, being that he is a bull calf. Um, whether we're going to steer him out, we're going to sell him as a bull, once we, we're going to send off the test for him, get the genomes, and uh, <coughs> maybe we'll steer him and uh, maybe Leon will show him. I think he's old enough to show yeah. the calf now. Uh, so we'll let you know. We'll keep you guys posted. So today we're just kind of hanging out. It's it's Leon's birthday today, so we're um, just kind of we planted mango tree. Um, just kind of went through and finally salvaged what we could from the garden from the flooding got some green beans and some green tomatoes and thankfully some of the tomatoes actually tried to ripen on the vine so got a good little harvest of tomatoes but I think that's pretty much all the tomatoes we're gonna get so we're gonna rip those up yeah we gotta do some mowing out here so we can really see the ground levels we got just looking at it right now where I'm at we got two or three different swales from the main pastures that actually lead back to this area. Um, so we're probably just gonna, once we dig the pond for the house pad, we'll probably just bring some fill dirt over here just to help level out around the garden mm -hmm. to uh, get the dirt, get the water away from the garden, send it to the back pasture. Yeah, because I don't even think we need to raise it up. We just gotta no, we just, fill in yeah. where the swales come through. Mm -hmm. That should that should fix the problem. Fill in some swales and divert them to other swales so that the water goes away from the garden. So, so but that's, that's kind of what, like I said, it's been, it's been kind of a roller coaster for us, so if you could um, keep our family in your thoughts and prayers, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, we will, uh, in the next vlog, we'll, we'll introduce you guys to Annabelle's new baby.